We've got 45 minutes of play time remaining, and it's already looking to be one of the most interesting starts of a game I've seen so far. And it kind of makes me wish that I did, that we did have the function to do that time lapsing, because sadly we had to throw that out of the door uh, earlier today, which is a bit of a shame. Maybe sometime, maybe later, but we shall see. But uh, yeah, the first stabs in the back have been made. Is England is England going to be able to get out of this? No, they also went for yeah, they went for innovative, obviously. Almost everybody went for innovative. What the French go for? Nothing yet. They can go for ideas, but they haven't picked anything yet. The Aragonese or the Catalans haven't. They can't go for anything yet. They've been too busy spending their uh, administrative power on other things. There's rebels all over the place. The Castilian Patriots, what else would they be? As uh, Granada is unable to do anything against that. I would actually love to see a player nation Granada. That'd be so funny. But England, England is actually not that strong, as we found out in our uh, death sessions. England is... No, it never really survives very long. It loses a lot of momentum. And the European powers are generally too strong. And I, I do actually think that the United Kingdom and England should be boosted a little bit. Because, uh, yeah. The real question is, has all this territory been sold because of patriotic rebels? Because the Castilians only have one territory remaining. There's another war going on. It's the Granada. <laughs> Gran oh, no. Uh, oh, no. All right. So um, it's not going to happen like that. But I quickly need to look here at Castile. Castile is once again at two wars. The Aragonese War of Aggression. Castilians can do anything about this. As, uh, the, even Granada is at war with them. I doubt anything is going to happen, but uh, yeah. Are we going to see these uh, Castilian Patriots kicking in at the last possible moment? We shall see. It would be really cool, actually. Defect to Castile. It would be so cool if he managed to pull, pull that off. And Castile still in the game, but for how long? How long is Castile going to be able to to play the game here? This war. What does Castile have? They've got one territory. It's being sieged down. As soon as the siege is over, it's de la Est. The end for the Castilians. Very curious. Very, very exciting stuff here. The end of days, no doubt. Oh yeah, another thing that we uh, players are not allowed to do. They're not allowed to auto uh, spend any points on the uh, Cardinals this game. Why? I don't know. Uh, we'll have to ask them later on. But uh, is a thing. Yep. Yeah. And Castile's dead. Castile is dead. Thank you for joining us, Castile, as an observer. As uh, we're quickly immediately moving on to see, look what's going on in uh, North America. The Shoshone have managed to expand a little bit, or do they actually start off? I don't think they do. The Aztec, the Zapotec, and the Maya are just messing around here in Central America. And we have ourselves our first Portuguese, Port Portuguese colony. The Portuguese are in South America, everybody. Two down, 23 to go. Uh, are we immediately going to see the Castilians coming back through Granada? We shall see. I doubt we really will, but that'd be kind of cool. For the French, in the meantime, are they actively trying to integrate this territory? They are. So Vizcaya and Asturias instantly getting uh, integrated here. And, uh, they are Bas Are they Basque culture, actually? That's uh, something I'm wondering. Uh, they are Basque. Yeah, they are. 
Basque has always been always been a curiosity to me. Oh no, England. England mismanaging their wars ridiculously. They can't really do anything about that. As, uh, actually, I'm going to take a look at North America, if I can. If I can see one of them. Ah, they migrated away. That's so annoying. Ah, I can. <laughs> well, I could, technically, but I don't want to because, you know, whatever. All right, so we'll, we'll, we'll probably see some Native Americans sometime in the near future. But, uh, yeah. The world is a different place. The Uzbeks. Expanding here in Tunkatai, the same for the Termorids. They will probably start integrating Persia soon as well. Should be able to get all those cores ready to rock. Got a couple of decisions. They got a new leader. That'd be cool. Bahamis. And we're actually, Yohan was thinking about playing either Ming or Bengal next session. And Bengal is, once again, I, I still think Bengal is, together with Oman, one of the more interesting trade nations in the game. It's really fun to play as them. They've got a lot of... Uh, a lot of flexibility going on. I like him a lot. No, oh, Scotland. Who's <laughs> back? More like lose back. Am right? LOL. Indeed, indeed, person on the internet. Indeed, LOL. As, uh, they actually, they actually migrated away. That is so annoying. Uh, but the Portuguese, this is actually really interesting because we're not going to see the Castilians into North America at all. The Castilians, uh, are, well, they're obviously dead, but the Portuguese pretty much have free reign to get into North America. And I'm looking at Galastia. Galastia is a uh, is a is a vassal of the Danes of all things, and they are. And the Danes are looking to get that diplomatic tech up to five, up to seven, so they can expand into North America. And I'm quick going to take a look here. They don't have that trade distance yet. But if you look at the Portuguese, the Portuguese can colonize all of this, so they already have a good good step in into North America. Very exciting stuff for them. The Aragonians taking, interesting. So Leon has actually gone and joined the Aragonians. Very interesting. So I'm quickly gonna look in here. Yeah. Liberated from enemy occupation, the next play Aragon, pretty much instantly. So uh, it looks like this is now, uh, Leon has joined the Aragonians. Danes will have a good opportunity to jump straight into the Caribbean. But the thing with this is, Denmark was second last game. Portugal was first last game. Are we going to see the players that were one and two to be the powerhouses of the new world, the, the, coloni the colonization nations, so to speak? Even the Norwegians have the ideas to colonize fairly early on. Well, relatively fairly early on. But, uh, Norway gets a royal marriage proposal from the Portuguese. Very interesting. I love the I love the observer mode. I remember very early on when, the, when it was still in uh, when we were still designing it, is that we could uh, yeah I could delete stacks. <laughs> yeah, I accidentally may or may not have deleted twenty thousand troop stacks somewhere in our conquest of paradise series. Muscovy, are they colonizing? Nope. Well, actually, they are. They've managed to. Uh, no, it's enemy occupation. So, 1464. The problem with this is, is they Uzbek needs to cut them off quickly. Pigon, he's been knocked out. He's been knocked out. Pigon's been knocked out. Who was that? You ask. I have no idea. Not really a nation we've been playing much attention, paying much attention to, apparently. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, of course. How can I forget? Viangagar has been knocked out by the AI from Mysore. Awkward. And meanwhile, the, uh, the Scots invading England. Are those Waldesian heretics? Those are Waldesian heretics. Yeah. Are the English... What are the English going to do about this? Because, you know, they've got rebels all over the place. Let's take a look at their stability. Uh, they've got high war exhaustion. They have no overextension. They need more stability, really, to crush these Waldesian heretics. They've got 13,000 troops, but they're mostly... Where are they, actually? Yeah, they've got a couple of thousand sitting here in uh, northern France. But do they have any ships? Uh, they have three in production. Those better be cogs. Uh, yeah, they're cogs. So they're trying to get their troops back out of uh, France in order to move them back in. Let's take a. Are, is anybody producing any buildings? It doesn't appear to be the case. No. Burgundy, maybe. It's too early, really. A couple of docks, but nothing that is too exciting. But then this happened. This is the craziest thing I've seen in a long time. It's the Aragonese and a decently sized Granada with Castile annihilated off the face of the earth. And Karsten, uh, he was, okay, Karsten decided to pause the game for a second. I'm quickly gonna check here. Are they gonna have any cultural problems? Not really. Do they have any conquistadors? No leader, so maybe hiring a conquistador will be an idea. No, I still have two uh, explorers. I still can go into the new world. That's annoying. Maybe into Mali, but yeah. It looks like Brandenburg once again at war with Palmeria. Brandenburg expanding quite nicely. Yeah, like I said. Palmeria taking the trying to take Teuton, not gonna happen. The Hanseatic League having a lot of problems here with the Danes again. Uh, I, maybe, are we going to see the Hanseatic League knocked out already? That is, uh, that'd be early. Skaga. Attacked by Dan Denmark for the conquest of Lübeck. Yeah, that's a full-on annexation. War of annexation right there. That's not going to, yeah, it looks like we're going to see the, uh, Dane, uh, the Hanseatic League knocked out already. Uh, Lithuania also at war with uh, the Hanseatic League. The Hansa is not going to survive. Um, moving in towards uh, the Termorids. At war for Persia. The Persian War of Independence. That's kind of crazy. As, uh, the Persians have uh, yeah, 16,000. It's about 24,000 troops. And the Persians, similar numbers, actually. This is kind of scary for uh, the Termorids because we may see a independent Persia at some point, and they're going to attack in the mountains. This is not a good idea here. Minus three. And with these die, we may... Uh, no. Well, maybe we can see a decent Persian... Uh, vic uh, well, we see a Persian victory here. There's no way the tournament are going to survive this. Attacking in the, mo in the mountains is never a good idea as well in, uh, well in the start of winter. In December is not never a good idea. And I don't think... The Termorids are going to win this war versus the Persians. Mamluks, in the meantime, are expanding into the Arabian Peninsula. They're taking over Hejaz for the War of Medina. Maybe together with Oman, trying to take Yemen, ha Hassa, and Najad. We shall see. Crazy stuff. Oman also in this war with uh, Najad. Bushaf is as Uzbek now also in this war with Persia. Actually backing up the uh, Termorids, but like I said before, it's not that many troops, and Persia actually has more 
more troops on the field. First is the term, uh, first is their former landlords, really. And this war is starting to become very, very interesting. Especially the Terminates decide to keep on attacking in the mountains, which is generally not considered the best of ideas. There's two things in uh, history that you should not do. Well, three, really. First of all, never get pincered in by the Carth Carthaginians. Two, don't invade Russia in winter. And three, when playing Europa Universalis 4, don't attack in the mountains. It's not a good idea, unless you're hilariously outclassing the enemy. Anyway, Palladium uh, moving into Bavaria. But ba ba Austria's trying to take... Austria is pretty much trying to consolidate all of all of Central Europe, and being the emperor is really not all that interesting. It looks like they're trying to dismantle the HRE. Forty princes remaining. Ugh. Still, Jonas is Sweden again. This war for for uh, the Hansa is gone is is pretty much done for. The Hanseatic League is going to get knocked out very, very, very soon here. I doubt they'll survive for very long, much longer. And so the end is nigh, so to speak. Let's see whether or not they're going to be able to do anything with that. We're waiting for. Uh, yeah, there we go. Ska, Peter Ska again has uh, left the game. That is yet another player out. The Danes have taken over the Hanseatic League. Ding. Oh, yeah. Uh, people, well, you can uncover the minimap, but that's been in since Conquest of Paradise. Uh. Player number four, knocked out. Anyway, um, yeah, you'll have to repick Nation next time around. Uh, Wallachia, Serbia, Hungary. Who's actually, are they vassalized to anybody? Uh, they are not vassalized to anybody. Wallachia probably vassalized to Michel, oh, never mind. Serbia, are they vassalized to anybody? They are a vassal of Venice. Interesting. The Venetians are uh, trying to expand. Same thing with the Austrians, actually. They're heavily expanding, pretty much all the way into Hesse at this point. Pretty deep into uh, enemy territories. They're taking up Bohemia. Really did quite a lot of things for the uh, South Germans. So, bets on number five. Take a look here at the Portuguese if they're expanding. They're already all the way around ca on the on the Cape, Cape Horn, on Tierra de Fuego. Next map, maybe trying to get into uh, Polynesia early on. I think they just lost their uh, their explorer as well. Yeah, they just died in front of our eyes. That was a bit of a shame. Be dead. Real Bogart in the meantime. Struggling with the Persians. The Persians are winning the war. At least so it would appear. Yeah. The Persians have pretty much won every fight so far. Except one fight. Ev except for one fight in Punjab, they've won pretty much every single one. Not very big numbers, but uh, yeah. Uh, Bushov as the ter uh, still yeah. Cadillac as Poland versus the the Teutons. So the Teutons are actually uh, on the way out, as uh, they will not be uh, part of this uh, particular thing. Poland looking to uh, integrate them into the Grand Negami of Poland. And uh, we won't see a Prussia anytime soon, unless all that territory is going to get sold off. The real problem right now for them is the Dan uh, Danish. 
the Danish are looking very strong. They've integrated Holstein. They've integrated Lübeck and the rest of the Hanseatic League. They uh, are well on their way to uh, taking Galatia. Are they sending any diplomats there? No, not at the moment. But uh, they are at plus 75 opinions, so they're not that far away from actually starting to integrate them as well. Um, Grey Calv is Venice taking over Ferreira. Yeah, it looks like Venice is trying to take over most of uh, Nor uh, northern Italy. I'm doing a good job at it, to say the least. Winning the war, 3%. Sieging everything down. Savoy, Ferreira. That's a lot of backup as well from Austria. Papal State even. Who is, the, is the Papal State? No, don't say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. The Papal State is a vassal of Venice. We're going to see a Venetian Rome. The Venetian Rome it is, everybody. Very strange. Cadillac at Poland, on the verge of, well, not on the verge, still need to seize all of this territory down, but they're going to be integrated. They're going to be annexing the, uh, the Teutons very, very soon. As Portugal has, uh, finally, we have, we can see the Inca. Look, look, it's my favorite state. It's Chimu. Probably the most, one of the most doomed nations in the game. <laughs> Even though they have very high opinion with the uh, with the Inca for some reason, that's that's kind of strange. Normally, uh, the Inca's taken down quite quickly. Take a look here at what the uh, Incas think of uh, yeah, because they're vassals. Derp, a derp. That means that Inca is going to be annexing them because I am blind apparently. Good fun. Let's take a look here at Japan. Is uh, Goose Creature still playing uh, single player? Yes, he is. However. He's gonna have some real problems here with the Hosokawa. The Hosokawa are really big. And I don't think, uh, uh, how are those, uh, how is Japan actually feeling? And they've got pretty much pretty good relations to everybody, really, even the Hosokawa. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. The Shiba are next. The Yamana as well. Korea into Manchu. It's a big Korea. Looking very, very strong. Maybe into uh, Manchu later on. Maybe an ally of Ming. Who will know? We shall see. Um, moving over. Witch King once again. Well, he's uh, at war with their French miners. They're not going to last very long. Peace offer from Tuscany. Oh, the real Bogard is no longer in sync. Right, we're going to have to go and uh, rehost. As uh, we are once again, sadly enough, uh, go for a quick rehost. We'll be right back here live from the studio. As uh, sadly enough, these things happen. So we'll be right back. 